Hello dear friends, in this episode we will visit, a paradise beach on an island Ibiza, it is with great pleasure that I present to you, Kala Tarida. Kala Tarida is a beach resort on the western seaboard of the Spanish island of Ibiza, it is in the municipality of San Josep de S. Italia and is west of the town of Ibiza town, the nearest village of Santa Agnes de Corona is east of the resort. Cala Taraida is in a sheltered bay on the west coast, the white sand is fine and clean and has a southerly aspect, the waters are clean and crystal clear over a sandy bottom and are shallow to quite a long way out, to the right hand side of the beach the water is deeper, and there are two satellite beaches. Both with fine sand, the left hand side of the cove is also rocky. Cala Taraida is a highly popular tourist resort in the municipality of San Josep de Satale, on the island's western coast. Visitors will be amazed at the diversity of its scenery, a beautiful beach with small islets and contrasting rocky areas that mark out different sections of the beach, the cove's calm waters, and its position sheltered from the winds, together with the availability of water sports and all kinds of services make this a favorite destination for family holidays. But if seclusion and solitude are what you're looking for, you won't need to travel far. Around Kala Taraida, it is possible to escape to some of the beaches a little further north. You can even join the nudist bathers in the area opposite the islet of Sa Sabata. Swimming around oddly shaped rocks and watching the sun set are simple but pleasurable activities that tend to linger in the memories of visitors to this lovely corner of Ibiza, Kala Taraida, peace and surprises in Ibiza, Kala Taraida, part of the municipality of San Josep de Satalia, enjoys an exceptional location, halfway between the Bay of San and the cove is idea for anyone looking for a convenient destination, with everything required for a pleasant holiday of beach and sunshine. If you're traveling with children, the beach has a sandy area in the center where they can run around and play to their heart's content. This is also a perfect destination if you're a water sports enthusiast, but the area has so much more to offer besides. More restless holidaymakers only need to get up and put on suitable footwear, and they can set. Off to explore more rugged terrain, away from the built-up areas, less accessible, Secluded coves can be found and not far from the main beach, to the right, you will find ES Pugilates, considered one of Ibiza's most romantic coves. And barely 200 meters to the left lies ES Kalanit, set in the midst of fishermen's huts, features of Kala Taraida, Horseshoe-shaped Kala Taraida is the largest cove on Ibiza's western coast, and the most popular with tourists, it is around 900 meters long by 25 meters wide, and has very fine, white sands across its entire width. Its outstanding features are its turquoise-colored waters and its gently sloping seabed. You can safely venture out about 30 meters from the shore, except for the area to the left, there are no rocks on the seabed. The cove has two islets connected to the shore by a strip of sand, they provide a landing stage for the swallows that inhabit this stretch of the coastline, a source of delight to bathers. Nearby are other coves, including, Moli, Bassa, Kodler, Conta and Videla, facilities and activities in Kala Taraida, Kala Taraida offers all kinds of facilities, and there are plenty of bars, restaurants and shops, the beach has a lifeguard service, toilets, showers, and a higher service for loungers and sunshades, there is also disabled access and car parks, a gentle breeze prevails, making this an ideal place for all kinds of water-based activities, only during the winter months is the swell appreciably stronger. In Kala Taraida, Boats and jet ski are available for hire, and the local area has a long tradition of sailing. Snorkeling and volleyball are among the activities visitors can enjoy here, and the area also has a well-known diving school, Casmila, a renowned restaurant. 
Casmila is one of Kala Tarita's outstanding places to eat. This family restaurant opened in 1987, it specializes in typical Ibiza cuisine, and particularly rice and fish dishes, the quintessence of Mediterranean cuisine, located on the beachfront, it has seating for around 200 people, and has a spacious terrace from which diners can admire the wonderful views and the spectacular sunsets to be seen from this corner of the island. Another possibility to bear in mind is SES Euphobies, a beach bar offering meals at very reasonable prices. The origins of SES Euphobies date back to the 1950s, when there were no apartments or restaurants here, the food is simple, and includes freshly caught fish. Meals are served at rustic-style tables set on tiered terraces near the sea, Kala Tarita sunsets, Ibiza enjoys breathtakingly beautiful sunsets, and it's a good idea to visit some of the best locations to see them during your holiday, one of the best known is Kala Taraida. After a day on the beach, and with the taste of the salt still on your lips, nothing can beat sitting on the shore watching as the sun dips below the horizon. Or sipping a cocktail and listening to soothing music from some nearby terrace, the experience will leave you ready to hit one of Ibiza's night spots, what to see near Kala Taraida, Kala Tarita's exceptional location makes it easy to go on excursions, whether to nearby towns or to the countryside. A good place to start is the town of San Josep de Satala. With over 20,000 inhabitants, it is Ibiza's third most populous town, and its center, around 7 kilometers from Kala Tarita, is a pleasant place to stroll, the pretty church of San Josep is well worth a look, and there are shops as well as bars serving food. It is an excellent place to gain a true insight into life in Ibiza, away from the tourist beaches. In and around the town, you could also visit some of the following monuments, beaches and other attractions, SES Salines Natural Park. This municipality includes part of the SES Salines Natural Park, to which the island of Formentera also belongs. An excursion to this protected area is highly recommended, as it affords an opportunity to see historic salt flats as well as lovely beaches such as S.E.S. Salines, E.S. Kodalar and E.S. Kabalit. And, of course, it reveals the ecological value of the undersea world, and specifically the area's Poseidonia Oceanica Meadows which have been declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. In addition, an enormous number of migratory birds stop off or nest here. Two excursions with a historical theme that can be undertaken from Kala Taraida include visits to the rural Punic Roman settlement of S.E.S. Paces de Kala Dihor, 5th century BC, and to the archaeological site of Sa Kaleda, 8th century BC. Dot, at S.E.S. Paces de Kala Dihor. The archaeological site is open to visitors, along with a traditional farmhouse which is a branch of the Ethnographic Museum of Ibiza. The site also commands wonderful views of the ES Vidra Islet and the ES Savinar Tower. The Sa Kaleda archaeological site is located between ES Kodalar Beach and the Monte de Jondal. Yeah. This was an urban Phoenician settlement that functioned as a port and a trading post with the southern areas of the Iberian Peninsula. Thanks for staying until the end. Thanks for watching.